Hi everybody, my name is Corey Campbell and I'm the Gallery Associate here at Japan Society and I'm going to be your host for this episode of Nihon New York. If you love lavish screens, brushwork like you've never seen before and relish the chance to be one of those people who say I saw something that nobody else in America has ever seen then Japan Society is the place to be this fall for our exhibition Silver Wind the Arts of Sakai Hoetsu 1761-1828 it's on view right now until Sunday January 6, 2013 <laughs> This is the United States' first retrospective on the arts of Sakai Hoetsu, samurai aristocrat turned Buddhist monk. Born the second son to the head of the Sakai family in 1761, Hoetsu's family was in charge of the Himeji feat, well known now for the Himeji castle, which still stands to this day. So because of his family's prestige, because of their connections and their wealth, Hoetsu was able throughout his life to use these connections to his benefit. The thing that really marks Hoetsu as important in the art world is that he did what no one else before him could do, which was take the Rempa style, which was primarily based in Kyoto, and then move it to Edo, modern day Tokyo, and it really took root there in a way it never had before. Because of Hoetsu, we now have a style called Edo Rempa. The pair of screens to my left and right are really two of the key components of this exhibition that mark it as a once-in-a-lifetime exhibition. To my left, we have a work on loan to us from the Metropolitan Museum of Art by Ogata Koren, and this piece is called Rough Waves. Koren was really kind of the artistic paragon, this man that Hotsu looked to for ideas and a style in which to work. Koren was the founder of a movement known as Rimpa, which literally means School of Koren. So here we see two real key traits of what defines something as Rimpa. And the first is a lavish use of materials because Koren has painted directly onto gold leaf. The second key trait of Rimpa is the depiction of an image from nature or the natural world. Now, part of the reason why this is such a once in a lifetime experience is that the screens to my right, done by Hoetsu called Waves, were not only inspired directly by Koren's rough waves, but also this is the first time this pair of screens has ever been shown in the United States. On loan to us from the Sekiro Bunko Museum in Japan, here, Hoetsu is painted directly onto silver leaf. Now, this screen is only on view until November 4th. Because of the incredibly delicate nature of the work, they can only be on view for six weeks and six weeks only. So after November 4th, these screens will be taken down and they will be sent back to Japan. But don't worry, we're replacing them with another very rarely seen pair of screens from the Denver Art Museum called Maples and Cherry Trees. So if you come after November 4th, you'll still have something to see. So another section of the exhibition is called Hoetsu Circle. And this is where we examine some of Hoetsu's friends that he has made in not only the artistic world, but also in literary circles as well. This piece is a hanging scroll that was done by Hoetsu, Tani Buncho, Watanabe Kinzan, and 66 other people, all in celebration of Hoetsu's 60th birthday. So for lack of a better term, this was a birthday present to Hoetsu. 
So here, all of his friends have gotten together and have incorporated some bit of themselves in it, either through poetry, painting, or calligraphy. The 60th birthday is a very important birthday in Japanese culture, which is marked here in the center by what looks like an eyeball, but actually it's a flaming wish-granting jewel. So this was literally a hope that for Hoetsu, all his hopes and dreams would come true after his birthday. The last section of the exhibition is dedicated to the artist who did the pair of screens behind me. His name is Suzuki Kitsu, and he was Hoetsu's main pupil and really took this idea of Edo Rimpa from Hoetsu. So again, we see two of the main hallmarks of the Rimpa style, which is the use of the lavish material, again, the gold leaf, and again, the subject matter of the natural world. But where Kitsu took Rimpa that Hoetsu did not, is that Kitsu makes these elements much more abstract. As you can see in the morning glories that this piece takes its name from, just seem to float and hang in space. That they aren't, they're just there. And they're gorgeously there. This screen wants to come home with me, but unfortunately they look down on that. So that's the end for this video. I could sit here and talk all day about this stuff, and believe me, yes, I can talk all day about something just at random. But unfortunately, I have to go back to work, and I don't want to spoil the rest of the exhibition for you. I mean, you gotta have something to come and see, right? So we have a slew of programming, workshops, lectures, you name it, we've got it. Please check out our website if you're interested at www.japansociety.org for a full list of all the workshops and programs that we have going on in relation to Silver Wind. We're also starting a new video series where new Japan Society Gallery Director Miwako Tezuka is going to introduce in two minute long videos various themes and some of the subject matters that Hoetsu examines in this exhibition, like nature and this depiction of nature that we've talked about throughout this entire video. Also, our lovely hostess Erin is going to be doing a Waku Waku Japanese episode that's going to be focused on Silver Wind, where some of these seasonal words and words for flowers are going to be incorporated into the vocabulary. So this way, you can practice your Japanese and see the exhibition at the same time. Speaking of seeing the exhibition, tours are given every day that we're open, which is Tuesday through Sunday at 12.30 p.m. in English and Fridays at 6 p.m. in Japanese. All tours are one hour in length and they're free with admission. If you can't make it to see one of those tours, then you can always take the audio tour given by none other than exhibition curator, Professor Matthew McElway himself. That's another one you don't want to miss. So ladies and gents, I'm sure that you are tired of seeing my face by now, so I'm going to say goodbye and enjoy the exhibition. <laughs>